to see um, some comedy um, last night. I sort of just snuck over to the um, the comedy store on, really? on Sunset. I saw eight acts. Like, every single one of them, their catchphrase was, what the fuck? What the fuck? Right? <laughs> and they all talked about their ethnic parenting. It was, uh, it was like, if it was a yeah. Korean bloke, it was like, yeah. oh, my yeah. dad would go, why do you want to go into comedy? <laughs> Jamaican, why do you want to go into comedy? <laughs> it was just, it was like, just cha change the race. <laughs> and then you what the fuck? <laughs> every single one of them. Can you say fuck on your show? <clears throat> yeah. You can? Yeah. Do, do you want to? No, do you? No, not this show. Oh, um, extras. Extras, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we keep it down. I mean, yeah, it's, I, try, it, I try to keep my, my mind down. Yeah. Can I just um, remind you of a, a scene, uh, the, the opening of the restaurant, which was oh, like, yeah, an, yeah, yeah, well, right. like an yeah. opera of swearing. Fuck head, shit face, cocksucker, asshole, son of a bitch! Maybe one day I'll get a chance to do something good for somebody like that. Scum sucking motherfucking whore! Cock! Cock! Chisholm! Grandma! Cock! Bum! Fuck! Turd! Fart! Cunt! Piss! Shit! Bugger! And balls! Damn it! Hell! Swap! Yeah. You goddamn motherfucking bitch! Fuck you, you car wash cunt! Now, car wash cunt is is yeah. poetry. That's that's she came up with that item. <laughs> yeah. 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 What do you think about swearing in in comedy? I don't like to abuse it at all. I know just from doing stand up that it's the easiest way to get cheap and easy laughs. I think it can be funny. It definitely makes anything funnier. It does. There's no doubt about it. Once you once you inject a fuck into your speech, it makes it funnier. It gives it it gives it an emphasis and it gives it a shock. What did you have? I am afraid to say I had an ace high. Ace high. I Oh, you cunt! What a cunt! I can't believe that you didn't go in with that. I I. I just Larry. thought she oh, What a hand! That's a great hand for this game. Um. Wow. Who are your um comedy heroes and influences? Um, <clears throat> when I was growing up, I loved the Bilko Show. For the life of me, Sergeant Bilko, I can't understand how he lost. You know, lots of people go to the races, win a little, lose a little. Not us. We brought our own expert. Born and raised on a farm in Kentucky, knows all about horses. <laughs> <laughs> Joined the army. Why? So he could pick a horse for us that came in absolutely last. Good boy. <laughs> he was doing what, what we were doing, in a way. Doing these guys who are saying and doing things that nobody else would say and do nasty things and un yeah. being unlikable and, exactly, and yeah. being deceptive. I taught my platoon into putting up a bankroll and I'll sing. Half of it is gone. How am I going to face that platoon? Hiya, boy. Only an enemy's liable to collapse. <laughs> Not him, Sarge. He's a real thoroughbred. He's got courage. Yeah, well, let him face the platoon. <laughs> It's the same plot yeah. every week. He's trapped. He's in this, you know, it could yeah. be prison or whatever. It just happens to be the army. It, it, it's, it, it laid out the blueprint for sitcom, I think. I, I love Bill Coe. And I loved um, Abbott and Costello. Hey, Chuck, what? Do we have to sleep in this room? Why, you're not afraid, are you? No. But if you see a pair of pants flying through the air, don't grab them. Why? I'll be in them! I, I loved uh, Abbott and Costello. I really, I did. But I always felt that I had Laurel and Hardy. Well, here's another nice kettle of fish you pickled me in. I think they were too sophisticated for me when I was a kid. There was something I didn't quite latch on to about them. I don't know why. It's the relationship, though. You know, I'm with this idiot. It's almost like uh, I'd be okay if it wasn't for this fool. And it's, it's the way they share that screen time that stands the idiot and he says stupid things. And Ollie can't believe he says those things. Well, what's the matter? Where's that clock? What clock? The clock you paid $290 for. <laughs> Why, that's ridiculous. Where would I get $290? Where's that clock? I don't know. He said he was going to keep it in the dark. And if I didn't keep my mouth shut, then nobody would be any the wiser. Oh! 
Now, why didn't you keep your trap shut? And I think there's a certain amount of that with, with you and Jeff. It, you, you take turns. Sometimes you're the stan where you say the wrong thing and it's, it's out there. And sometimes you're the, why do you say that? What, you're, you're an idiot. Oh, my God! What are you here? Oh, needed this. Susie's here. Oh. What? Oh, what is Susie? going on here? What are you Hi. doing here? The amount of sleep that I've lost. What are about you this... doing here? Listen, and I'll tell you. Sammy shelf has been on my mind. I've always thought the shelf was loose. And you brought Larry to help you with the shelf? I know a lot about shelving. I, I put up all the shelves in my house. And you put the shelves up in your... I find that hard to He knows to believe, a lot Larry. about shelving. No, I put them all up. And There's I was the just, California I was gonna, closets you know, over here, here all of a sudden? Is, is the shelves here. Look, get the hell... Leave! Jeff, in a way, has a tough role on my show because he's a confidant. Sometimes he's just there to be helpful to the story. You know? well, it's such a useful character, though, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Because he, cause he yes. knows everything. And, I, uh, I couldn't do the show without that character. It's almost like setting you up. You know, it, it, it's sending on your way. And it, yeah. Now, Cheryl is so adept at She's doing great. that kind of thing. Oh, by the way, did you tell Wanda she has a big ass? I didn't tell Wanda she, she had did. a big ass. She'll always know exactly how to make a scene funnier. Why? What's the big deal? What if I did say she has a big ass? So what? That's not so terrible. What's the matter with a big ass? I like big asses. There's no problem. <laughs> you like big asses? I don't mind a big ass. I mean, no, hey, no, no, no not no, necessarily no, big. No, this is interesting. No, what? You love big asses? No, I don't love big asses. How yeah. big do you like them? I like them just the regular. I like them just like yours, okay? Oh. Uh, uh, that's because like mine them. is a really big. No, it's like not big. really big. It's not. It's, uh, it's good size. You said, you just said, I love big no, asses I and know. I like yours. And completely gives herself over to it. No ego at all. Always knows where to take a scene to, to get it funnier. Well, no, there's nothing is thinking. unfolding now. Nothing's Which unfolding. Which is interesting. After years together, I'm just finding out. What are you like, crazy? No. That's so untrue. Don't. No, Don't... no, I'm not the deviant. I didn't say deviant. Presumably, you get the ideas from real life. Uh, you know, their, their observations or things that you think may happen. And is, is it all for the comedy or? Is there any part of it that's you getting something off your chest? I don't, I don't, I'm not consciously trying to get things off my chest, I don't think. But things do occur where I go, this will be a, a good thing to do on my show, that had I said it at the time, I would have gotten something off my chest. Right. Like um, in the, this one scene that we did, uh, the check came and... They, we, Cheryl and I were out to dinner with another couple. No, no, Larry. No, 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 oh, no, no, Larry. no splitting. Please. No splitting. You picked up the last one. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, Stu. That's very uh, nice of you. Thank you. Welcome. What about me? And thank me, too. And thank you, Susan. You're welcome. Well, why, why do I have to thank you? <laughs> For dinner? that my husband and I treated you to? Oh, I thought he treated me to it. Stu pulled out the credit card and put it down, yes. Yeah. So I thanked him. And he's using our money to pay for it. So you can thank us. We're taking you out to dinner. Well, you can call it our money, but just for the sake of discussion, he's the one who, who yeah. goes to work and then earns the money. You don't, you don't work. So something like that came up in my life you know, I thank the wife. I'm not a sociopath. Of I, I can't say that, you know. Um, but I knew immediately that this is something I, I want to do on the show. So in that, in that sense, yeah, it does. It is a way to get things off my chest.